six of the seven PSD files that you're going to get are set up exactly the same way. We're going to go through one of those and just know that when you open them up, they're all going to look exactly the same. We do have a seventh one, which is a calendar setup, and that one's just slightly different. So I'll go over that one too. But just know that when you open them up, they're going to all look like this. You're going to have this uh, color overlay right here, which is uh, going to change the color of this, this uh, label in here. And then when you open up the title and boxes section, that's all basically everything on the page. Uh, title, that's this right here. And all you have to do is press the letter T on your keyboard. If you want to keep this exact look or this font uh, that you install the font that I used for this one, which was, it's called Lemon Tuesday and you can tell right here I don't it has a little caution that's because I don't have it installed on the computer that I'm working on now so that means that if I change this it's going to change the font as well so if you want to keep this font just make sure that you download that it's a free font and I did give you a link to it so you can easily download it and use it I'm not going to change this at all right here because it is going to change the font but if you would like to change that, all you have to do is press the letter T on the keyboard. You're going to get this uh, right here and you'll just select the whole thing and then just change it to whatever you want it to be. Now also with that title, we have title borders. So I've got this and the reason that I added that is because you also have the option to change the backgrounds and we'll go over that a little bit later. So I added this title borders so that if you do have something back here, maybe your own image or a pattern, you're clearly able to see the text here. Now inside that title border, I have uh, the two line option, so you can easily remove those and just keep the color or just keep the lines and remove the color. Now with the color block, this is something else you can change. All you have to do is double click on the color here and then come in and change your color to anything you want. Okay, and that is all the this um, upper titled section right here. Now we're gonna move on to the categories. I'm gonna remove that. So I've got four categories here. Now if you're only changing text, um, instead of coming in and changing them all at once or, or opening up all of these, uh, the simplest way to do that is come up to kind and then just choose text. So when you choose the letter T up here, you're filtering for type layers and it's going to show you everything that's, that's a type layer, which is going to be all these labels right here. So you can easily go in and um, just select one, change it to say this right here, you don't want it to say done, you just want it to say to file, and then uh, command and return to get out of that, or control and uh, enter will get you out of the text, and then you can just easily grab the next one, change that, and then go on to the next. So it'll be, it'll be super easy to do that. And then the next thing you can do is grab the shapes here, so that was text. You can uncheck or unselect that up here when in your filters and then select the shapes. And your shapes are gonna be these right here. And these are all labeled for you. So you'll know that the, this is a divider line right here. This is box number four right here. You can also filter them by name. So if you just want things that are labeled box, you're going to get box one, two, three, and four, and you'll know that those are just the boxes. Now these boxes have a pattern overlay on them, and you can change the pattern overlay or just turn it off if you like, simply by uh, clicking on the little eyeball here. The same thing with the stroke, you can remove the stroke. Uh, but if you want to use your own pattern, all you have to do is double click here. It's going to bring up your layer styles and then you can just come in and change that and there you go. 
click OK and then you have a new style inside of your box. Okay, so we're going to go back to kind. So uh, like I said earlier, you can uh, change the dividers as well. The dividers also have a pattern overlay in them. You can easily remove that uh, just by clicking on this, this eyeball right here. So if you do want a divider, you just don't want it to be glittery, you can uh, remove that very easily right there. Okay, and that's basically how you're going to change all of the categories, the text, the lines, the dividers, and any uh, coloring that you have in here. In fact, let me go back and show you how to change the coloring uh, of the box. So I'm going to remove the pattern just to show you how this is going to work. So we're going to, we have the box selected and you're going to double click on, on the icon here for the box. And then you're either going to type in your hex code here, RGB value, or you can choose a color here. You can go through and um, see what you like the best, click OK, and that will be your new color. Again, you can do this here as well. So I'm going to go back and choose, for a, uh, choose a name, and the name is box. So we can go in and change the color for each box. And then now once we have this first one set, this second one, all we have to do is come in with the eyedropper tool, grab the color and click OK. Now it's not showing up right now because we still have that pattern overlay applied. So you'll have to remove the eyeball here on the pattern overlay in order to make that visible. And then you'll just move on to the next. So I'm going to go back to our original. Uh, and I'm going to close down the categories. So that was how to change your titles and uh, your boxes. Now we're going to go to the backgrounds here. In the background, you can add your own photo right here by double clicking. Okay, so once you have this PSB file open, you can come over to File, Place Embedded, and then navigate to wherever you have your image that you want to use as a background. So I have one on my desktop that I'm going to use just as an example. And then just click place. And stretch your photo out on the canvas. It doesn't matter if you go over like I'm doing here. Um, the only thing that's going to show up on your desktop wallpaper is going to be uh, what's inside this box here. So anything that's overlapping is not going to show up. Return. And then I'm just going to close this. When it prompts you here to see if you want to save changes, hit save. And then you'll close it. And it's not showing up here because I don't have it turned on. So if I turn it, if I turn on the little eyeball here, it'll show that image in the background. Now if I turn this one on, it's adding a color overlay to that image. So I can double click it here and I can change the color overlay uh, to anything that I want. But I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to close that on this image. But the option is there if you do want it. So that is just a color overlay for your own photo here. Now I'm going to turn that off. And then you have this option here just for a color change of the background. So if you want just a solid background, you can change that here as well. So just double click on this icon here. Your color picker will come up and you can easily change the background color of your image. Okay, so one thing I did forget to show you here um, in the photo section I'm going to open that back up and I'm going to double click in there. I'm going to turn this off. I did uh, pre-install a couple of textures in here. So I have this stone texture and then I have this wood texture. So I'm going to keep the wood texture here just so I can show you how to use that color change. So I'm going to close this, hit save. And now I have this wood texture back here, but it just looks so plain. So what I'm going to do is turn on the color, double click here on this icon, go through and find a color that I'd like to use. 
and then click OK. If this looks really busy, of course, you can always go back into the title or, or into the boxes and remove the pattern from inside of the boxes, which I'll go ahead and do right now. So all I'm doing is coming in here and removing that pattern. And then, of course, you can change the color to anything you like by simply double clicking, choosing a color and then going through and changing all of those colors to whatever it is that you like. This one is set up a little bit differently than the other six PSD files that we have in here. These are all labeled with numbers here. So I've got this first section, section one, has a lot more going on than uh, section two and definitely a lot more than section three, four, five, and six. Now you can change these uh, just by hitting the letter T on your keyboard, grabbing it, and then changing changing it to, to whatever you want. Command return or control enter to get out of that. And go to the next one and so on and so on. So you can set this up to match your, so you can set this up to match your workflow any way you like. And again, that you can do the same thing here. If you want to just look at text layers, you can definitely do that here as well. And if you just want to look at shape layers, you can do that as well. And this is uh, short for label. This is short for column or call is short for column. And then this is, these are list items right here. So anything that's labeled list is going to be this stuff right here. This is so that you can change the color of those. So we're going to go into name Oops. and I'm going to type in list. So it's anything, it's going to show you everything in this area right here. So I'm going to grab all of these, hit the letter U on the keyboard and I'm going to come to the stroke area and I'm going to change it to black. And now you'll see that they're all black. You can do the same thing with the column. So I'm going to press, I'm going to, uh, under name, I'm going to type in column and that's going to give me all of the columns here. So I'm going to grab all of the columns. Make sure you press the letter U on your keyboard so that you have this showing up here. And then we're going to click on the fill color. And I want to change that to yellow. And you'll see it changes everything to yellow. Okay, and then the same thing, uh, you'll do the same thing with the labels here. The labels are just the background here for the, for the uh, text. So if you want to change those, you can also do that there as well. Now for this section right here, these are labeled a little bit differently. This is going to be the week label. So you would type in week under under the name over here and it'll bring up all the weeks and you can just uh, hold down your shift key, grab the first one, the last one. Make sure you press the letter U on your keyboard to make sure that you have this up here and then just choose a color. Okay, inside here you also have the squares and that's this section right here. So you can hold down your command key or control key and grab each one of these like this or you can come in and just search the name so that one was called square so it'll show everything that has square in the name and that's going to be all of that stuff okay hit the letter u there and then you can change this color i'm going to change those to black and then i want to change my fill color to I don't know, a darker orange or something. And that's what that's going to look like. So this right here is just an example of how you can change the colors and how flexible this is. If you'd like to have some examples of how to use these productivity backgrounds, uh, I have a video that will show you how to do that. I'll link to that here so that you can watch that. In that video, it'll show you kind of how I use sticky notes and how I use apps to create a workflow using uh, these sections right here and also the apps that I use here.